Amelia Bedelia by the yard. Amelia Bedelia and her parents were coming home from the park. They drove by a sign. Amelia Bedelia's mother shouted, Pull over! Pull over! Amelia Bedelia looked out her window. She did not see a pullover sweater. She did see lots of stuff for sale. All the stuff was spread out in someone's front yard. Amelia Bedelia's mother jumped out of the car. Mom loves garage sales, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Is she buying a new garage? asked Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's father shook his head. No, but we could use another garage just to hold all the stuff she buys at garage sales, he said. Amelia Bedelia's mother brought back two treasures. She handed the book to Amelia Bedelia. She tossed the sweater to Amelia Bedelia's father. It's a pullover, she said. Is that the one you saw from the car? said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's father had already pulled the sweater over his head. Did you hear about the big garage sale next Saturday? he said. Where? asked Amelia Bedelia's mother. At our house, he said. Let's get rid of our clutter. We need to weed out. For the next week, Amelia Bedelia and her parents sorted through the things they had not used in years. By Saturday, they were ready for their very own garage sale, except for one thing. Amelia Bedelia was not happy about their sign. You can't, tell, you can't sell our garage, said Amelia Bedelia. Where will our car sleep? Plus, the garage matches our house. Oh, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother, we'd never sell our garage. Let's try a different idea, said Amelia Bedelia's father. He held up a new sign. Is this better? No, wailed Amelia Bedelia. That is worse. I love our yard even more than our garage. Okay, we will not sell either one, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We'll just sell the things we put in the yard. People began stopping to look. It got crowded fast. Amelia Bedelia's parents were busy. Amelia Bedelia helped too. Nice sewing machine, said a woman. Can you throw in a yardstick? Sure, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran behind the garage. There was a big pile of leaves and sticks there. She got as many sticks as she could carry. Here you go, said Amelia Bedalia. These sticks are from our yard. Pick one. I'll throw it in. The lady left. I am looking for a yard stick that is 36 inches long, she said. Amelia Bedalia grabbed a tall ruler from a messy box of stuff. She used it to measure the longest stick. This one is exactly 36 inches, she said. Perfect, said the woman. If I buy the sewing machine, will you throw in the ruler too? I will hand it to you, said Amelia Bedalia. It's a deal, said the woman. She looked around the yard. I am making curtains, she said. I will need yards of fabric. Yards, said Amelia Bedalia. That is a lot of fabric. They would cover up my mom's flowers. The flowers are beautiful, said the woman. I would love to buy some of her plants. You can, said Amelia Bedalia. My dad says we are weeding out. Everything in the yard is for sale. Amelia Bedalia found a shovel. She dug up some plants for the woman. By the end of the day, everything was sold. Amelia Bedelia's parents were shocked to see the holes in their yard. Amazing, said Amelia Bedelia's father. At our yard sale, even the yard got sold. 
Melia Bedelia's mother sighed. Who would buy the yard? she asked. A nice lady, said Amelia Bedelia. She does everything by the yard. Well, said Amelia Bedelia's mother, my plants will grow back soon. I do like getting rid of clutter. It makes things easier to find. The only thing I want to find is a pizza, said Amelia Bedelia's father. On the way to the pizza place, they passed another sign. And this time, Amelia Bedelia's mother did not say a single word.